how exciting your new puppy is coming. Now is a good time to prepare for a smooth homecoming. House training is going to be the first major hurdle for any dog owner, but especially for a first timer. If you start, even with only basic knowledge and a positive attitude though, it's far easier and less stressful than people would have you believe. The new arrival. Take him outside the minute you arrive home. An exciting car journey, unfamiliar faces, lots of noise and attention will have him needing to go. And if you can engineer the first toilet to be outside rather than inside, so much the better. The less your pup relieves himself inside, the less likely he is to continue. Homecoming is a great opportunity to set the ground rules of toilet behaviour. Take him over to the designated toilet area and put him on the grass. Let him sniff around. Don't pat him or distract him. Now is a chance to learn that this part of the garden is only for toilet activities. Have a phrase ready to use when he starts to pee. Something like go wee or potty. Keep it short so he will remember it readily. When he's done, praise, pat and reward. Have your indoor toilet training plan in place before your pup arrives. Will you paper train or crate train? Generally speaking, crate training is the quicker and easier method of housebreaking for a young puppy. Crate training is defined as housebreaking your puppy by confining him to a small kennel or crate when not actively supervised. How does it work? Dogs don't normally use their sleeping area as a toilet. By restricting your pup to a small area where she sleeps, you can cash in on this instinct to hold it in until she's out of the crate. The crate has to be the right size. If it's too big, she can make a toilet area and a sleeping area. It does need to be big enough for her to stand, stretch and lie down when she is an adult. You may need to start with a temporary partition in the crate. If she is a very little pup, a cardboard box inside the adult crate may suffice. House training with a crate. Consistency is the key here. You have to keep your pup in his crate unless he is asleep, eating, playing with someone, or outside going to the toilet. Letting him roam around the house alone will only encourage him to form the habit of weeing inside. It's far easier to form a good habit than to break a bad habit. Schedule your puppy's day. Write the schedule up and stick it on the fridge. Use a kitchen timer if necessary to remind yourself. Here is a sample schedule. 0700, outside toilet break, supervised. Praise, pattern reward, good results. 0725, breakfast. 0745, outside toilet break. 0750 to 0830, playtime with humans. 0830, outside again. 0830 to 11, 100 time out in his crate 1105 outside toilet break 1110 to 1230 playtime with humans 1230 lunch 1245 outside toilet break 1300 to 1530 nap time in the crate repeat this for the rest of the day until final outside break before bed housebreaking using this method may take a couple of months you should be able to judge when your puppy is ready to be out of the crate for longer periods without having an accident your pup may not be too impressed the first couple of times he is left alone in his crate you will have to harden your heart and withstand the whimpering and whining ultimately your dog will come to love having a private place to go where he can have some downtime and be alone if you have kids, they need to know to leave Rover alone if he has gone into his crate voluntarily. If possible, have the crate in the busy part of the house. Don't banish your dog to another room where he will feel isolated and left out of the family. Make sure the crate is a fun place to be. Put some toys there to play with and make sure it is well padded with a cushion or a couple of thick blankets. Leave the door open unless he is inside. Useful puppy toilet facts. Because puppies only have small weak bladders and bowels, like kids, when they need to go, they need to go. It's vital, therefore, that he goes outside the instant he wakes and within 10 minutes of eating or playing. He'll soon learn to let you know when he's ready by pouring the door and whining. Sniffing the ground and circling are other signs that he needs to go outside. Be quick, as soon as you see this behaviour, get him outside. You won't have long to avert an accident. 
calculate the maximum hours you can leave your pup alone in his crate by adding one to his age in months. Thus, a four-month-old pup can be left for five hours. This should be the maximum and not the norm. Ideally, he should be released every two hours for psychological and physical well-being. This, of course, does not mean you wake him if he's snoozing. For more information on how to successfully house train your dog, as well as a whole bunch of in-depth information on house training, troubleshooting and related issues, you can check out the germanshepherdsite.com. You will also find our free downloadable report, 5 Dog Training Myths, full of valuable advice and step-by-step how-tos for dog training.